Hey YouTube, I do Furkan here and as I said, I have update 3.2. There it is, 3.2 on my car, on my dirty, dirty car. And I'm going to show you in this video what I found, the new stuff. So we are not going to go through all the old things again, just the new one which are possible interesting for you. Starting with the driver dash. The most important bit of change you see here is yes it's not the state of charge percentage it's not the temperature right there but it's the consumption figures right here how are you gonna get this well in, normally it starts with if you go if you press right right it will start with this view so we go back you will you will have this view to have the consumption you go right right to get this and then the best thing happens, you can cycle through uh, the options, like we go to vehicle, go to data, you can cycle through since start, long term, since charge, through here. How do you do that? Press OK. And if you want, let's say, since charge, you can have the other view again and you will have the smaller one with this total distance and your average consumption. And of course, you can cycle here again through the options. Great, right? Yes. Next thing, new stuff. They removed the charging from this screen because they moved it to his own uh, application. Now you see the percentage but now you will also see the power the charger delivers instead of uh, kilometers per hour or minute. Now you will see kilowatt. Nice, nice. Also, Sedder charging should work. I'm gonna test out someday, but not now. Settings, we have battery care mode. What this do is really simple. When you enable it and you're, you have charged more than 80%, uh, on the next time, it will just dump it back to 8% and that's it. But this option, not this one. This one, yeah. A three-year-old car with bi-directional charging. Nice. Interesting bit for now. You can have a running time of 4,000 hours and a an usage of 10,000 kilowatt hour of your battery. And they said, actually, uh, they may allow more with an option in in the shop and the shop is really interesting because let me show you in a minute exactly it doesn't work my car fresh from the dealer doesn't work. You can't install uh, items from the shop. And because you can't install items from the shop, you can't enable uh, contracts like we start, we connect start, something like that. And because we can't have these options, um, we can't have plug and charge. We can't have location of your car. We can't have uh, some other options your car should deliver as information to you but the shop is not working you can't buy it and it's not working so your app is still the same like 2.4 nothing new the only small bit which is new from the app is the lock icon if your car is locked or unlocked Whew, I waited three years for that to see the unlock button or the lock uh, status no for now, I have no fix yet. I tried uh, almost everything to try this, make this work, but not yet. Now, if you go to settings, doesn't matter in which country I said, it just doesn't work. Um, we have nothing new. Some cars, some cars has, uh, let me check. Some car has ACR off, which is, uh, stability control off. 
I don't have it. And someday it may come to our old cars, but till then, we don't have it. Uh, nothing new here. What is new uh, on the infotainment is when, uh, when you have a key enabled charger and you want to charge, you put it inside the charger, you wait three seconds or more, uh, and the emblem is right there. It's charging. You see it, but you don't see it still when you're leaving the car. That's that. Uh, sound. Sound is working perfectly fine. No issues, so we are moving on. Uh, radio, radio, really important. This is the same. Since 3.0, web radio is free. So you can go to radio, then you go, normally it's right there. Uh, but now you can press internet radio, it's free. You can go to your country, search for your country you want to listen and turkey turkey of course turkey turkey always number one you know and then we go to crawl or other 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 radio right now and we are waiting and it's free and it's working as you can hear nice nice which is great so yeah that's the radio which is really important to know uh, what we have more um, settings, sound. Uh, normally, you would have here a private, a privacy and vehicle to X options. Well, both are gone because privacy and vehicle to X is now under users, under settings, and when you go to your privacy settings, you will see it here. Enable it, disable it, how you like when you disable it. It will just go in offline mode and you will see it will disable your item offline mode it's offline and now the world will disable itself um, so yeah don't reconnect now it will just disable in a minute but it's fine we will enable it again because i will need it yes go and we go on more telephone didn't check settings that's it driver assist um I actually nothing new but the things you need to enable is always uh road lay layout preview off this is uh the option which is not new actually this is the option your car will break before uh, when it sees a turn let's say a sharp turn on when you're on ACC or travel assist, well, disable it. A speed limit preview is uh, your car will change your speed depending on the road signage. So if it sees 30 km per hour, it will move to 30. If it sees 80, it will see it will move to it will change the ACC to 80. You don't want that, that disabled. Uh, more lane assist always steer wheeling a vibration on. All good lane assist. We just had side assist, nothing new. Dynamic sign language, same. And there's actually nothing new. We go back, uh, we go back, and mode is also the same. Uh, what am I missing is charging we showed, stated uh, background is the same, user is the same. Uh, vehicle, yeah, this one is interesting, I think. Uh, vehicle, interior, head-up display. Head-up display has new things. Uh, you can see new stuff on your hood. I, hopefully I can show it in another video. And ID Light has also new stuff, uh, which is interesting also, because it can show now uh, fault around and this pulsing standby, which you always see pulsing right there you can disable it uh, but there's more navigation uh, turn alert and lane guidance late guidance is this one uh, i mean turn alert is the swiping id light and the lane guidance is it will show you on which lane you should be this on this side or on this side also an interesting bit i will hopefully show you in another video and this safety interruption, it's annoying. There's a new function in 3.2 when you're driving and you're playing with the infotainment too much. The 
infotainment will just stop working. Why? Why? I know it's for safety, but still, why? And we have infotainment, that's the infotainment, we have driving menu for... Yeah, exactly, the same. Traffic hazard, eco assist and take over steering. This was new, this is new. This was just show it red ahead. Anyway, I believe that was new. Uh, more we don't really have, I think. Exterior, mirrors, headless tires, nothing new. Uh, so, like I see, brakes. I don't have AC rough, so fuck me. Uh, central locking, same, 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 same. Interior, cockpit, I don't have. You know, one thing I don't have or I couldn't find is easy access. Easy when, when I have. Uh, Motorized seatings, so when it's when you step into the car, it moves back and it goes forward. It doesn't do for for me. Uh, you need to enable it with OBD11. Other bits, when you're now driving and you press this button, uh, it will just show an icon. And when you're driving slowly below 20, 20 kilometers, it will allow to use the cameras. So that's great. Um, is, is it quicker? Let me see. I'm driving backwards. Stop. It feels, you know, to be honest, it's not that bad as uh, 2.0, but it feels also a little uh, quicker. So the movements you see on screen and outside, it's less. The delay is less. So that's always a plus. And the camera, you know, it's it's... Currently, it's great weather outside, but it feels a bit sharper. A little bit sharper on some parts, like here and there and there, but that's normal. And it's a little bit, but it's not much. I think it's just a placebo, so because it's nice weather, so the camera sees the best. So it's the same, you know, it's the same. Um, next new thing you should know is this time root guidance, root options. This works. Sorry. This works. Charging. Stop. And now you can just select how much charge you want to uh, have at your destination. 100. And remaining on route. So how much you want to have left when you are going to a charger. Well, let's go to Madrid. And... Yes, center of Madrid, whatever how you call it, start it, and yes. <sighs> Wonderful. You can't find a charger? I guess it failed. Uh, sad, sad. No, I'm going to try one thing, because it may have, have effect on that, is this on. And we're gonna lower this to 20%, 20 kilometers, you know, just in case. Just in case, because 100 kilometers is still 30 to 40% left, which is a lot. So I'm gonna give it a second try. Nope, yeah, no. You can still drive to, you can't drive to Madrid, sadly. Well, we are going to Wolfsburg for a second try and see if it can go back to the factory, which is only one charge actually, but let's see. Uh, directly to destination, please. And it's quick, actually, this time. Now, which is great. Uh, one annoying bit here is I still can see my arrival destination. I believe, just the time. The only way to see it is swipe to right, press. You can still see it, you just need to charge. What you see here is uh, amount of charging, uh, amount of charge time, but you don't still see the uh, arrival percentage, but of course only kilometers, you will arrive at 12%. And here you will arrive at 12% and you need to charge to 54% in 70 minutes. So that's it basically. This time it just works because it's going to Germany back to the factory. But 
don't go further okay good and that's it actually i can show one thing i really want to tell but can't show it yet because i'm just recording with my iphone carplay is flying and android auto depends uh, how powerful your phone is and an s10 plus is currently not that powerful anymore and even an older phone you're just requesting too much from your phone because the infotainment has a lot of pixels and the phone need to drive two screens and that can be hard on your phone well this concludes my short hopefully uh, video about what's new with 3.2 the important bits uh, as a user coming from 